Hello and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria and today I'm going to be testing out four different kinds of sunscreen. It is very much that time of year where my skin is leached of all color, as you can see. Acne scars popping, but my skin right now, honestly, very smooth. So the four sunscreens that I'm going to be trying out today in order from drugstore to like higher end is the Garnier Ombrelle face sunscreen and this has a 60 SPF. I'm going to be using the Sunbum, also a face sunscreen, which has an SPF of 50. Um, for like a higher end drugstore product, I am using the La Roche-Posay 50 SPF ultra fluid sunscreen. And for my higher end sunscreen, I'm going to be using the Super Goop Glow Screen, which has an SPF 40. Even though I swore I would never endorse or indulge in Gwyneth Paltrow and her witch doctor magic type thing, here I am. In between sunscreens, I'm going to be cleansing with a hyaluronic acid cleanser from the Inky List, and I'm going to be moisturizing beforehand with the Glossier Priming Moisturizer because this is like an everyday thing, and if these sunscreens cannot last with my OG products, then it's just not a good fit. When I am applying these sunscreens, some things I'm going to be looking for mainly is, is there a white cast? I am at my palest right now, so if these sunscreens cannot take me at my palest, then there's no way they're going to be traveling with me throughout the summer. Number two, I have been experiencing a lot more sensitive skin lately, especially with like hormonal birth control and like just the situation on my face so i am looking for something that is not that scented not super irritating something that feels good on my skin feels good and feels lightweight and then the final thing i'm going to be looking for is availability which is going to come down to like price point and where i have to purchase these products the least expensive sunscreen that i purchased for this video is the garnier umbrella one and i paid 15 64 or something for this and I think from the drugstore it's probably gonna retail from about I would go ahead and estimate anywhere from $9.99 to like $15 just depending on which drugstore you go to. The sunscreen promises to be ultra light. It has UVA and UVB technology and the bottle says that it is non-greasy, fragrance-free, colorant-free, and it has non-comedogenic with antioxidants and it is recognized sun protection from the Canadian Dermatology Association. I've heard like various things on how much sunscreen you're supposed to apply, but generally everyone says like a two finger test. So like take two fingers and then stroke them along the length of each finger and that's how much sunscreen you should apply. So right away, like this formula kind of worries me. It's definitely super thick and it's like not moving anywhere. Um, which to me kind of screams like white cast. It's gonna give purple skin. Got my two fingers and let's go ahead and start blending that into my face. It has like a really vague, like chemically smell to it that is not super concerning. It's applying like pretty smooth, I would say. Like, feels pretty good. Definitely not blending in right away. That was like just a quarter of how much I'm supposed to be applying. So right away I am, I am noticing a white cast. I look super purple, specifically like in my T-zone and anywhere where I have like hyperpigmentation. And honestly, just, just all over. Okay, so... Okay, so that was about one finger's worth of sunscreen. I still have the entire second finger. Maybe I'll like blend this out like a little bit better with my hands. I feel like it's always going to look worse on camera than it is going to look in real life. Um, Maybe the white cast will like somewhat go away, but it's like, it's very, it's very evident. It's been a couple of minutes and the white cast is like still very present. Um, just for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and put on the second layer of sunscreen just because it's already out. I will say though, like the formula, like it's going on very smooth. It feels really hydrating. It definitely doesn't have that like sunscreen smell to it where it's like, 
oh, ew, you're wearing sunscreen. Not like an ew, you're wearing sunscreen, but like that potent white kids at the beach sunscreen vibe. And like, if I'm not looking at it, it literally just feels like my skin is like super hydrated. So like, maybe if you're white, like this, this might be the one for you. Like a very inexpensive, easily accessible drugstore kind of vibe. But if you're like brown, like look at this compared to my chest right now. Look at it like compared to my hands. It's giving purple. It's giving not person of color friendly, which is definitely what I'm looking for as a person of color. <laughs> I feel smooth. It's not irritating my skin at all. It has been a few minutes and guys, if you're white, this actually might be the one. And it doesn't look that bad on my phone camera. Like it definitely does not look as super white as it does in my camera camera. My skin is not irritated at all. The purple glow is creating like a nice barrier between my skin and the sun. So I feel like this would definitely be effective as a sunscreen. It just doesn't look great. All in all, I would have to give the Garnier Ombrelle face sunscreen at a 60 SPF. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a five out of 10 because it feels good. It's like sitting nicely. It felt really hydrating. It's not scented. It feels great on my skin. It just looks terrible. And it's like, for me, like it's just not wearable, especially since in the summer, I wanna be like bare faced, just a little bit of yeah. sunscreen. I washed all of that off. I'm gonna pin my bangs back. Next up, I'm going to be trying the Sunbum Face 50. SPF and again, it says it's a UVA UVB broad spectrum SPF 50. It says it's water resistant Lightweight dermatologist tested fragrance free looks good looks cute I've only seen these really at shoppers drug marts. I think mm, I might have seen them at Walmart's as well this one I actually got from Amazon and this I paid $15.99 for the bottom says shake well before using and I don't know if you can hear that, but like that is quite a liquidy formula. And I remember that about the body lotion from Sunbum as well. Very much liquid. I'm gonna do the two finger test and that's like just dripping down my finger. But like, not super runny. Not runnier than, it's like not runnier than a Glossier product, I'd say. It does have a bit of that like typical sunscreen smell that I did not really get in the Garnier one. I would say it's like, two levels runnier than that other one. Like, look, I've been holding my hand up like this and it's only dripped up till here. So it's runny, but it's viscous enough that it's not like slipping. So let's just start blending that into my face. It's definitely whiter than the other one. The other one, like it was giving purple like almost right away. I feel like I put on a lot there. I also have to join a meeting in 10 minutes, so. I'm gonna try and hurry this up. Ooh, it's like a little bit more challenging to blend in, but I think it's a little bit less white casted than the last one, and I've almost used like most of the two fingers. The formula, I think because it's thinner than the last one, it does not feel like as hydrating, but it's still hydrating. I would just say the other one is more hydrating. And this like, it applies like a lot better, but like I wonder if it's gonna like slide around more because it's runnier. Okay. Wow, actually. So this is the product like all blended out on my face. Like no pilling of um, my moisturizer that's underneath it. I am like definitely a little bit more on the shiny side, like shinier than I was with the last sunscreen, I would say. But just a slight white cast that I'm honestly not mad about because I think I just look kind of hydrated, but I could totally be wrong. Like it's definitely less evident in person than it is on camera. That's my mirror again. It has been a couple of minutes and I'm kind of obsessed. Like my skin feels actually like really soft and like I think it looks really pretty too. It's barely scented, like definitely not as unscented as this one, but barely scented, especially compared to Sunbum's body sunscreen. I'm like in person, I'm not noticing any white cast at all. I just look super hydrated and my skin looks like pretty soft. It's not making my face turn red anywhere. It's not glaring out my hyperpigmentation the way that the other one was because of the white cast. And I feel like at a 15 something 
$15 range, 10 to $15 range, like that's really good. I'm not mad about that at all. Like that looks so good. And that like feels really good. I think that was like a really solid purchase. And that's a keep, that's a keep for me. Okay, so I washed my face, cleansed, and put on a little bit of moisturizer. And as promised, the next one that I'm going to be trying on is the La Roche, La Roche, La Roche Posay, La Roche Posay, La Roche Posay. Not sure. That's water in here. Like that's, that is a fluid. So I got the 50 milliliters of the 50 SPF and this retails for $25.46. Do you see that? It's like literally bubbling up because it is so liquidy. I'm gonna go ahead and pour some on my fingers. Oh my God. <laughs> it's water. It's like, it's a literal liquid. What I'm gonna do is put it on the back of my hand because I feel like my hand actually just absorbed all of that product and I'm gonna... Oh my god, it is, it's a liquid. She is a liquid. She's, she's dripping. Like, sh this is a drip. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and start putting that on my face. Ooh, it's like I'm racing against time. It has no scent. Like, vaguely chemical once more. But, like, no fragrance, I would say. I can't even see it on my skin. It feels so good. It's definitely more on the serum side than it is like a moisturizer, but it still feels moisturizing. What? And like, look, that was, that was two fingers worth and that blended in so like seamlessly. It literally just looks like I'm wearing moisturizer, like 0% white cast at all. But like, I don't know if I like blended that like thoroughly enough. I'm gonna go ahead and put like, just like a little drop, few drops more since this, she is a serum. Like she's not going anywhere. I mean, she's going everywhere because she's a fluid trying to take up the space of her container. Hashtag science. She feels really good. Like, wow. All of these sunscreens that I've tried so far, like very much on the hydrating side, very much on the like, glides on perfectly and like wants to like wants to apply well kind of vibe invisible finish yeah definitely an invisible finish that is such a summer vibe this is a 10 out of 10 the price isn't too bad i wonder how many times i would have to repurchase this because it is super liquidy and i feel like yeah these ones were like 88 milliliters and this is only 50 so yeah, and it's 10 more dollars than this one is for less product, but like the product in question, this is the one, this is really the one. We are on the last and final sunscreen, which is Gwyneth Paltrow's Super Group Glow Screen in 40 SPF. This is a broad spectrum sunscreen and it is called the Glow Screen. So I am expecting some glow. Okay, so this was $26 and this is for the mini size. As you can tell, she she is mini. She is only 20 milliliters. Okay, let's go ahead and try that out. Guys, it's like, it's colored. There's a color in it. It's, it is white woman colored. The formula in it, like, it looks like a glow screen for sure. Like it has like some pearlescent type sparkling in it. I don't know how much you're gonna be able to see of that. It's not scented. It's definitely more scented than the other ones, but it's not like fragrant. It's like very much in that chemical realm. It's so pearlescent in a way that I know does not look good on my skin or on acne. I feel like because it's colored, it also has the potential to dry patchy and to apply really patchy. You're talking. It's applying really well. Like it feels like really smooth in its application. I am sketched out that it is in fact white woman colored. It's giving disco ball. It's giving glow screen, I guess. Just based on what I'm seeing on camera, I hate how this is making my skin look like no, I'm sorry, it's a no. I cannot be an oily girl 
and be walking around with this glow screen on. It looks like I'm applying a liquid highlight to my face, all over my face, which honestly works for a lot of people, but I'm just not, I'm just not one of those people. No, 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 no. I feel like if I were to like spot put this on, like literally just on the high points of my face, like if I were to mix this with another sunscreen, then I completely 100% could do that and just have it be like, like a glow factor almost, like a highlight with SPF in it. Maybe it looks really good under makeup and that's something that I should consider, but like as a standalone sunscreen, like this is just a no for me. And it is white woman colored, as I previously said, and it is also pilling. And I feel like because I'm at my palest, this might not work for me. Like, I don't know if you can see this, but it's like streaking down my neck in pigment, which is worse than a white cast, really, because now it just looks like you put on makeup really poorly. I feel like my face is low-key kind of turning red. But it is also the fourth sunscreen in a row that I've put on, so I'm gonna take that piece with a grain of salt. I simply don't like the way it looks on my face. This is not a product that I would reach for intentionally. If you have acne, like, you'll know. This kind of texture is just going to highlight all of the imperfections that are on your face. And I feel like if you're white and if you have clear skin and if you're looking for mm, a bit of a disco ball kind of effect, this might be for you. This might be exactly for you. Price point, size point, the way that it looks, the way that it's like kind of making my face feel like a little bit warm, especially like in my T-zone, I'm gonna have to give that like a four out of 10. Like that's just not user-friendly for me. In conclusion, the only one that I actually really straight up hated, I would say, is the Super Goop Glow Screen. I'm really pleased with these two. I feel like this is like a good whatever kind of day option and this this is more like something that I would be looking for like for the everyday. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I'll see you in my next video.